Hi, I'm Steve Murphy and welcome to the Insider Exclusive. Today, we are featuring some headline legal news, whistleblower suits against the Los Angeles DWP. Stay tuned. The corruption and the, the pain that's taking place in the city because you won't take a look at the issues is wrong. Today you awarded a, a certificates. I've been receiving them for 30 years. And today I will return those. We have the facts and we, they were caught lying and nobody has done anything. And so I have to return these certificates to you today yes. because it's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. There's a lot happening today at the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, and today I have with me Patricia Berry. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Steve. I understand that you represent maybe seven or eight whistleblowers at the DWP? Correct. Uh, and I understand that a lot of them are claiming there's corruption going on at the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. Is that right? Yes. Uh, and uh, with respect to a janitorial supplies contract known as the Empire contract. What's going on with this thing? Well, uh, very suspiciously, uh, Jerry, Cronin, uh, Jerry Alkine and Robert Cronin, who own the Empire contract, were able to get a contract with the three profit centers of the city of Los Angeles, airports, harbor, and the Department of Water and Power with no competitive bidding. This happened in 2001. Uh, the end users, of course, of the janitorial supplies would be the custodians of the Department of Water and Power. And Sandra Miranda, who was a supervisor custodian, uh, through her own experience of using these supplies and then complaints from her workers, began to realize that they were inferior, dangerous, didn't have the proper label, particularly the safety label required by Cal OSHA, right. and then begin to do more research and realize they were way overpriced. So what's happening is, and you're alleging So this. what happened was, Sandra Miranda in February of 03 started going to city council. And, and a bunch of these, a bunch of your clients did, didn't Well, they? she initially started going. Making complaints. May, oh, over. At the over, Los Angeles City Council. Correct. Over and over again. And she went like every two months. The very month that she went, in February of 2003, uh, Tom Hokinson, who was the assistant general manager, ordered actual surveillance of the custodians. Now, what do you mean surveillance? They had people walking around watching them? Yes, with spying video on cameras? them, video cameras, following them to their homes. When they were basically kind of stalking them, were they threatening them? No. Were they, they were, saying anything to them? Well, they, they eventually, a word was getting out that they, you know, heads were going to roll. In fact, Jerry Alkine, one of the owners of the Empire contract, started spreading that rumor. A little history here. <clears throat> Empire is the current uh, provider of janitorial supplies to the DWP. No. Okay. Sandra Miranda was successful in getting rid of that contract, but okay. now we think... Uh, uh, that he's using dum dummy companies to still sell the DWP and there's no oversight. I want to add this. Right. Uh, after the contract was canceled due to the efforts of Sandra Miranda, the supervisor custodian, mm -hmm. and Candido Morris, who had been made chair of the subcommittee of mega contracts of the small business advisory committee created by the city of Los Angeles in order to look into all the complaints that were being made. You have to remember, it wasn't just the custodians talking about the Empire contract. It was talking about the vendors who had been squeezed out of competition to sell these supplies by Jerry Alkine and Robert Cronin. I just want to go back sure. to one thing. The city initially to theoretically reduce some of the cost in procuring some of these janitorial yes. supplies put the contracts to procure them out for bid, correct? What happened was, clear back in 95, 96, when, it got When this, Mayor Reardon was mayor. Exactly. Reardon and Hahn decided they wanted a mega contract, which was basically monopoly capitalism, which violates the most basic pr 
principle of government uh, procurement, which is competitive bidding. I understand. A lot of people yeah. bid on it. Nobody was awarded. Well, somebody was awarded the contract. Vernon Sanitation Supplies got it fair and square. They yeah. pulled back the contract. Even though the, you won this successful contract, we're not going to award it to you and awarded it to Empire. Well, wait a minute. It gets trickier. Once the bids are made, they are public. Alkine didn't bid. Empire Contract did not bid the first go around when Vernon should have had the contract. Yes. Uh, and by the way, we can prove that Alkine and Cronin, the owners of Empire Contract, did not mm -hmm. meet the proper requirements even to submit a bid at that point. I won't get yes. into all the details. Yes. But he did not bid the first time. So he, but once a bid is made, all the, the bid numbers become public knowledge. Having that public knowledge, of course he was able to underbid, and I think he got the, the citywide contract for 300000 right. on the second bid. The problem is he didn't stay at 300000 Would it be this, safe, excuse me, would it be safe to say that the empire at that time was making a lot of money? Oh, they, they okay, made millions. Providing inferior products. Correct. And it cost the city a lot more money than they would have had they gone through the proper channels. Right. I mean, in some of the cases, as I understand it, from speaking with Sandra Miranda, of course, one of my clients, uh, is that she did a comparison right. and found that um, if the city just went over to a company that would do business directly with yes. them, uh, they could have sa saved, say, a uh, place of paying $12 to Elkine and Cronin, they could have gotten it for 8 But we're talking about millions of dollars yes. overall, aren't we? Yes. You are suing the DWP, correct? Yes, and the city of And the city of Los Angeles? Yes. On behalf of them, on what grounds? Well, the, the uh, U.S. Supreme Court has recognized that reporting waste, fraud, and corruption by public employees is... Whistleblower. Yeah, essentially whistleblower, but it's also, there are many, many whistleblower statutes, but mm -hmm. we're suing directly under the United States Constitution, the First Amendment, uh, about, uh, and using free speech right. as the basis. And uh, Her Honor Judge Snyder uh, has denied the motions for summary judgment, where you try to get where DWP sure. tried to get rid of the yes. case without allowing us to go to jury trial. She recognized that there was clear free speech involved. Pat, you've got some great clients. One, and, salt uh, of the earth. You're doing a great thing for them. I hope you win your lawsuits or get them settled. Give out your phone number because people who are also <laughs> being persecuted, you know, and being run out of their companies because they have the courage to stand up for what's right, right. should be able to get a hold of you and should be able to exercise the rights. What's your phone number? Uh, my office number is 213-995-0734, but I'd also like to uh, ask the city residents who are interested in this issue of the Empire contract yeah. uh, to get a hold of me so that we can get a huge contingent of city residents because these lawsuits go beyond the damages that my clients seek. They stood everybody. up for the public good. Yeah. This, this was not where they're saying I'm being denied a promotion. And, and uh, if it weren't for the integrity of Sandra Miranda and then these other employees, uh, the Empire contract would not have been canceled at the DWP. Well, you're doing great work. I want to thank you for being with well, us Well, thank on you, show Steve, today. for having us. And let's see a successful resolution of these. Okay. Thank you. So, Council, we've come to you many times, and I'm looking here and I'm thinking, why have not one of you, for the times that we've been here, have been willing to get up? When it comes time for election, you'll get out there and you'll meet with the people. You want their votes, you want to see what's going on, you want to fill them, you want to know what the future looks like. But still today, since 2003, you have not stepped out to go down to DWP, to talk to the city employees, to see what's going on, to feel their pain, to see that we're not delusional, we're not making this up. Do you know what it's like to go to work every day in fear? Do you know what it's like to say, do you know the message you send already to management and the employees? That they have the power to continue to use and abuse. That we can do nothing but take it. A lot of us have many years invested with the city. Why haven't one of you at least send your deputies to go down there and meet with the people and speak to them, to hear them, to listen to them, to feel their pain, to see their stories? Hi, I want to thank you for joining us on the Insider Exclusive. You can get more information at www.insiderexclusive.tv. I'm Steve Murphy. Thank you.